I ordered more <laughs> stickers. <laughs> oh, no. So I got, I ordered a thousand of these and I'm down to about my last couple hundred and I figured I better get some more for, um, for hamvention. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. so let's talk about that. Hamvention's coming up. Um, Dave, have you ever been to, um, hamvention? I don't think I've ever asked no. that question before. No, no, never to Dayton ever. Yeah. And I've been a ham for since 1975. So it, it's on my bucket list, but. We're going to run out of time, I'm afraid. But uh, it sounds like fun. Yeah, yeah. I don't. What I'm curious is how did you talk Christine into going? Well, okay. So, <laughs> so we were sitting around back in January, and probably a lot of our, um, you know, the worst, you know, you 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 know the you know the kind of the you know, the worst decisions you make are probably going to be in the deep deep deepest darkest middle of winter because you want to get out and and whatnot um so we said you know we're trying to come up with um you know a bigger trip to do this we usually we like to take um something that um you know do something that we're, we'll be out you know for maybe about a week um traveling somewhere the last um two years ago we did the up of michigan um this last year we didn't get to do our week long trip because um, Christine was in a in a job transition from one job to the next, and she didn't really have a, enough um, um, time um, kind of stacked up to do that. So, so we're saying, you know, well, what should we do um, this summer? Well, you want to go to Michigan again? Do you want to go out west? And she says, well, mm -hmm. why don't we why don't we go to Hamvention? <laughs> really. <laughs> And I said, hey, uh, well. no, no, I believed everything up to that point. Now, <laughs> <nope>. no, <laughs> she figures she figures she's going to find something like a like a yarn store or an antique store <laughs> or something oh, yeah. out there. Well, she yeah. actually like she actually enjoys ham fests, and um, one of the things that at a well, we were at a ham fest last April, and um, in Madison, Wisconsin, Stoughton, and uh, one of the things that really catches her attention are vintage radios. Uh, you know, we're talking AM, um, AM. tabletop consoles, sure. floor sure. models. Uh, you know, if it's if it's Bakelite and and or wood grain, and it's got a really fancy dial on it. You yep. know, that's just she just like totally gets into that. So she's yeah. figuring she's gonna make a she's gonna make a heck of a haul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 now how, how many consoles can you fit in your little red uh, uh your camper it'll be it'll be yeah. that's a good question <laughs> so we, we made our plans uh got campsite reservations at uh, caesar creek state park down um that's just a little bit um southwest of of xenia uh so we made those. <laughs> that was like the first thing I did was, you know, make sure we could get have a place to stay when we get down there. <laughs> yeah, because they say hotels hotels are are booked for like hundreds of miles. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're they're at a premium. Before there was a lot of campsites, so I don't think as many people either. They don't camp or RV. It, you know, then, then hotel it, I suppose. And, but um, yeah, so we were able to get sites. So we'll be leaving, um, I think Wednesday, the 17th, we'll be heading down there, go south down through Illinois and then stay at um, Moraine View State Park the first night in central Illinois, mm -hmm. and then cut across the state through um, Indiana over to Dayton, to Xenia, Caesar Creek for a couple of days. And then on the way home, we're going to drop down to Cincinnati and uh, check out the uh, the Voice of America Museum. Um, just outside of, of Cincinnati, Ohio, is a um, is 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 the um, is the Voice of America uh, Bethany uh, relay station. So there was this humongous uh, Voice of America transmitter outside of Cincinnati, Ohio. It's all mm -hmm. offline now. You know they. They don't they don't transmit from there anymore. But the but the building is there and it's turned into a museum. So full of vintage radios. So Chris jumped at the at the chance to really um, check that out. So and then yep. uh, and then in on the way home we'll be staying at um, I think it's Turkey Run State Park in Indiana. So it's uh, so it should be a good trip. Uh, we're really looking 
we're really looking forward to it. We're looking forward to meeting people um, as we, you know, at, at the Hamvention. We'll be there for all day, you know, hopefully all day, all day Friday and all day Saturday. So it's, um, it should be fun. So, yeah. Um, you know, yep. 45 says, yeah, heard nothing but good about the VOA museum. They've evidently, they've got a state of the art, um, amateur radio station. The club down there has done a really awesome job at, um, putting together, uh, just a beautiful, a station that you can, that you can get on the air, air with. And, uh, mm -hmm. another option too, we probably weren't, we probably won't do this at Hamvention, but a Wright Patterson Air Force Base. That is supposed to be really, really neat. Um, if you're into aviation, that is a humongous, um, humongous museum full of a lot of, I think they've, I think they've even got one of the original space shuttles there. You know, it's, that's how, that's how big it is. So, yep. so but we won't make it Fine. to Wright-Patterson this year. Um, KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpol-antenna.com.